Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is a special edition of Wild Card Weekend on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Miami Dolphins. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, playoff fever has immersed South Florida as we are at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Today, we continue on in Wild Card Weekend with a great AFC matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Miami Dolphins. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. wildcard game. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They'll be led out by their six-foot-four quarterback, the former number one overall pick in 2015, Jameis Winston. And this is a guy who cares totally about his team. He will do whatever it takes for a play to be successful and for his team to win. I've seen him become a lead blocker on running plays, even though I'm sure his coaches don't want him anywhere near that pile. Here's Winston. They'll find Miller. That's complete. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. A look now at the Miami offense. So many weapons on this offense, and we've seen them all season long score from any point on the field. But we all know playoff football comes down to playing smart. The game slows down, and it's harder to move it. So you've got to avoid penalties, avoid turnovers, and not let your emotions get the best of you. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's good for Dolphins. First down. First and ten at the 40 yard line. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, look now at the starters on the defensive side for the Browns. They were very good in the victory a week ago over Cincinnati. This defense has a lot to be proud of coming off of the game they played last week. When you only give up 14 points in a game, not only do you give your team a chance to win, you fully expect to win because you figure your offense is going to score more than that. Here we go. Here we go. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. To throw, Winston. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They were trying to liven up this playoff game very early on. Pretty deep throw, but good coverage. I think they were counting on the defenders being a little tight, a little over-anxious early, and trying to catch them flat-footed and get a big play. Let's go, baby! Let's so here go. come the Browns for their first drive on offense. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. And a look now at the starting offense for the Browns. And what a tough environment to roll into. On the road, playing one of the better teams in the league, obviously, because this is the playoffs. So what do teams talk about? Bringing their own momentum, bringing their own energy on the road. 
because you know you won't get any from the home crowd. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. Line of scrimmage to 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 47. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They go play fake. Mahomes. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. The 20. Getting it to him in space. Pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. What a luxury to have a tight end that can not only catch it, but then can run after the catch like that. What was the old expression back in the good old days that they used to carry pianos and Ingram churning. He lost the football. Oh, now Hopkins slow to get up here. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. This has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Check 50, check 50. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Call it a gain of five that time. They'll be left with a third down at about nine to go. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He'll find Taylor. That's complete. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. So first and goal and an opportunity for our first points in this wild card game. They'll look to run with Ingram, and he takes this one in for a Brown score. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. Sirline connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it's Mark Ingram who caps it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They've been a come from behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. A throw on the quick slant going to be complete. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. On the ground, it's Singletary. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. On first and ten, Winston. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So second down and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Jameis to throw it. He'll check this down to Hines. 
And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Now Winston. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Here we go. Here we go. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 36. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Five, 36. Five, 36. Here we go. Winston. He'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Jameis now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing, Winston. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And down inside the 15, he goes. It's a game of 11. What tight end? The Dolphins, first down. From the red zone now, Winston. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Winston on third and two. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. From six yards away, as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast. But a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Extra point by Marr, up and good. And we are tied at seven. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They bring the five seed into the playoffs. Of course, they're one of the wild card teams. And when you're a wild card team, it makes it a little bit tougher. You have to win the extra game, but there's been a precedent set of teams doing that successfully in the past. And it's usually teams that have aspects that really jump out at you and are really factors in the playoffs. I mean, Pittsburgh, they wrote a heavy... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. The score tied 7-7. 7-7, seven seven. Seven, seven, our score after one. On third and long, it's Mahomes. He finds Taylor, complete. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Ready, black, 
Watch the run. Watch it, watch it, watch it. They start the drive with Peterson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. David DeCastro, the former first-round pick out of Stanford, gets the flag. Mike 57, Mike 57. Let him go. Let him go. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. Here's a second and seven now from their own seven. Winston. He's got the hook up to Miller. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. Quick pass out to Miller. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. 57 to Throwing on second down. Winston completes it to Miller. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Jameis again. That's into the hands of Reynolds. The completion good for three and second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. At the 39 yard line. They will run with Singletary. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Hey, D line, let's get in there. Let's get in there. On third down, Winston. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And he'll score. Touchdown, Browns. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Zerline now for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Back to it after the pick six. Winston, his throw incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Winston now. This pass complete to Reynolds. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Ready? On first down, Hines. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's the linebacker C.J. Mosley in Bobby. on the stop. C.J. Mosley on the tackle. A three-yard pickup brings up second Get and seven. On second down, Singletary. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. 
third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. So that throw good for four. It's second down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. So negative yardage, a loss of three on second down, and that leads to a tough third down call. He finds his target, Beckham. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And give him nine yards on the second down screen play. Five, three, six. Five, three, six. Five, three, six. Five. Third and short yardage. Winston looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Let's go, baby. The Browns take over first and ten. And we shift our attention to Mark Ingram. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but... I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy and early going. But we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime and make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Mahomes now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. Draw play. Ingram now. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. A reminder coming up at the half, as we've done all year. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown on what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin on the road to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 36. Mahomes now. Only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. Mahomes firing complete and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Now here's Mahomes. This one complete to Ingram. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. A gain of 13 yards. And the Browns first down. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. 
yardage. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Now Zerline on and the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Jameis Winston and company heading back onto the field now. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the scoreboard right now. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, it's Hines. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Andy Lee now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. White now to return. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Check, check, check. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, he'll rife, and that's caught inside the 30. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. Mahomes now to throw. He dumps it down to Ingram. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. And Zerline's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. And for the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. It's the first of two games here on this wild card Sunday. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back to yesterday's AFC wild card game. And it's the Houston Texans who are not done yet as they were able to eliminate the Cincinnati Bengals. As for our game, it has been very one-sided in that first half. But you can't take anything for granted in playoff football. As we send you back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wildcard game. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 
Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They go play fake, Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing now is Mahomes. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He goes underneath to Ingram. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Joker, 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 Joker. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It's the pro bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. From the 22, Winston. They'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now it's Hines. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Ready? Loss of a guard. Brings up second and 11. And the 30 yard line. On second and 11 now. Winston, he'll find Hines out of the backfield. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll be third and ten. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Mahomes now on first down toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver, and it's second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Mahomes, he's got it to Ingram, complete. And he will lose yardage on the play, back at his own 19-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and that's gonna lead to a third and 11. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And all the way down to the 37. A big play that time for Cleveland. 44 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. He finds Taylor, complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now a give coming right is Breida. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And he finds Cook. 
That catch moves him over 100 yards now for this wild card game. And a first down as well. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Given nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. Look, we all know that sometimes we see upsets in the wild card round. But I have to tell you, in this case, I did not see that coming. I don't think anyone in the stadium <laughs> saw it coming. You and I were coming in before the game. There was a couple in front of us talking about travel plans for next weekend. They might want to cancel those. Yeah, I would say so because right now it's looking more and more like they're going to be one and done. They're probably trying to call the hotel, make sure they get their security deposit back. Zerline good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Here we go. Now this offense ready to head back out there. So they won their division and earned the right to play at home in the first round of the playoffs. But this one is not going to script so far. Nowhere did they have the thought process that they'd be down double digits. But the good thing is it's the first half. You and I know, I mean, you've been with me long enough now. Hang with the game plan. Stay the course for a while. Don't panic and change up things. Keep grinding. Long way to go in this ball game. That was my question to you. You don't throw everything away at this point. Stay on course. And stay on course. Obviously, you want to eliminate the things that have caused you to be down double digits. But at the same time, you're not getting it all back in one play. Keep going. The game plan was put in there for a reason. On second and 11 now. Winston. And that's going to be incomplete. Pettis once again the target. But now it's third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Going deep this time for Miller, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Now we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. On the return, it's White. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people. No errors, right? Not turning it over and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Ingram. It's a gain of five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Second and five. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And then we got to give a little tip of the cap for the defense there. Zone coverage, locked it in tight, made it really difficult because... They tried the crossing route against it, and it worked for a completion. But you have to know where the sticks are. Third down, didn't get beyond them. No pickup. 
Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Singletary to get the drive started. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They run with Hines. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They'll run here with Singletary. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. 57 From the 31, Winston looking middle, and it's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And he's got Miller. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you over. Jameis now on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To the air again with Winston. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 39. On first and ten, Winston. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. First down, Winston. The connection made, it's Graham. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. A nice gain of 21 yards. They'll throw again. Winston. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Chandler Jones in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that is going to set up third and goal. Third and goal, Winston. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Here's Winston. And this is incomplete. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. At the 16-yard line. Ingram again. And this will be a pickup of four here, up to their own 20. The Browns on third down, five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and two. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, 
No flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And it'll be Dolphin at the football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball. And then all of a sudden, it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. In fact, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Draw play. This is Hines. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Browns territory. A gain of three. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Jameis to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. To throw is Winston. Well, the two men come together and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. They're already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Fourth down, Winston. Looking downfield for Jones. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? Might get radio silence back. <laughs> They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. The throw over the middle, taken in. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. The Browns on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now it's Ingram. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaking up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here we go, D. Here I come. Here I come. Let's go. Again, they'll run with Ingram. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Watch the run. Watch the run. Let's go. Let's go. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He finds Beckham complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 14. Yellow! Okay. Let's get that ball. First down, Browns. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Ten more there and another first down. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at and he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Mark Ingram, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership <laughs> that as he tries to negotiate a new contract <laughs> off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Zerline now for the PAT. Yeah. 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's Mark Ingram who caps it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Dolphins' offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, get ready, I've got get confidence ready. in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Now Winston. He'll find Miller. That's complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. There's Winston. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing Winston. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, we're not able to find any yardage on that one. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Brings up second and seven at the 23 Now Ingram, he's been busy today. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo going Exactly. Forward. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. 30, 20. Smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. Now, I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. We made one more. <laughs> Look at that On second down, Ingram. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Only a yard in the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. They'll keep it on the ground. Ingram, and he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll try to run with Breda, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. 
So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Matt Breida who had the touchdown run to put an end to it. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This fielded at the two. Card win moves them on to the divisional round. Everyone plays all year long for the right to get into the tournament, as they like to call it. Wild card, divisional, doesn't matter to them. One moves on, one goes home. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. And with that, we sign off from Miami.